Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And today we're going to talk about four flirting tips for women. And so there's nothing more attractive than a woman who knows how to flirt. Um, for a guy, um, you know, the difference between a woman who you're kind of attracted to and one that you like fall head over heels in love with, uh, it, it can be as simple as her ability to know how to flirt. And so um, let's talk about, you know, four different things that you can do uh, to flirt with a guy. And the first one is invite him over. So a lot of women um, try to do this, uh, you know, get a guy to chase you thing, which, by the way, I don't think is a very good idea in, in any situation for any period of time. Well, it might work uh, short term. It doesn't work in the long run. So uh, my suggestion is that if you see a guy that you like, invite him over, you know, and, and that invitation could be something as simple as like a glance you know looking him in the eyes and smiling you know it could be as something as like you know giving him like a hand wave gesture to come over and talk to you um so you know invite him over and don't be shy to do that because it, it can be very very attractive and most guys will not approach women unless they get some type of indication that she wants him to come over and talk uh, so the second thing is to encourage him to pursue you, right? So um, again, uh, there's a lot of bad dating advice out there about showing disinterest and you know faking like you don't like a guy and running away from a guy. Um, you're much better off encouraging him to continue to pursue you. You know, telling him that um, you enjoyed spending time with him. You know, telling him that you'd love you know, to, to see him again in the future. You know, that, that kind of a thing uh, can be incredibly powerful for a guy because most guys um, have spent so much time in the friend zone with women that if he's not sure that, he, that you like him, he'll probably stop pursuing you unless he's really, really persistent. Like he would have to be just in, insanely aggressive um, in order to uh, just continue pursuing you know, any woman, regardless of whether she shows interest in him or not. And so if, if you meet a guy and you want him to continue to pursue you, you know, encourage him to do so, invite him to do so. Um, and, you know, you don't need, you don't, and you shouldn't go overboard here, but, you know, showing him that you're interested and showing, and showing him that you want him to continue to pursue you can be very attractive and it can be the right signal for a guy to continue to pursue you. Um, the next one is uh, treating him like a little brother. And, uh, you know, this is another, with all of this stuff, there, there's kind of a happy medium where it's not, you're not doing it, you're, you're, you're doing it, but you're not doing it too much, right? And so treating a, a guy like your little brother, it's really a mindset type of thing where you're, um, you're not taking him too seriously, you know, being really playful and, and having fun with a guy and just, you know, talking to him in a non-serious way, not all the time, you know, if a serious topic comes up, make sure you're, you know, you, you go into a serious mood, but, you know, being playful and being fun and, and just, you know, messing with them and, and, and having a good time is incredibly attractive. It's very feminine and it's very attractive to men. Um, and then the last one is uh, going sexual and then pulling it back. And so again, I'm not talking about getting a guy to chase you or running away from a guy or anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, you can go sexual. You know, you can uh, go up and whisper in his ear and say, "You're so, like, you know, uh, if he did something attractive, just you know, you could say that was so hot, you know, and then just pull back and, um, you, you know, and, and just pretend like you didn't just say that, you know, and, and that can be incredibly attractive, especially if you're like out in public or in a place where it wouldn't really be appropriate for you to say that aloud, you know, that can be really, really hot. So that's it for today. If you want more information on how to attract a quality man into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take the quiz there. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.